dancers, it's one of your main turnout muscles. It can actually improve your turnout immensely. <laughs> What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to Train Life with Ballerina. Today I'm in the studio. I'm not doing a follow along workout, but I am going to be going over one specific exercise. This is going to be the first video in a whole series I'm going to do on YouTube by explaining specific exercises to you. My hope is that by doing this, you're going to be learning what muscles you're activating during these exercises. You're going to know what visions to think in your head, and you're going to benefit from these exercises so much more. Now, the reason I wanted to do this is because there are certain exercises that I have a lot in my workouts a lot in my TLB workouts. They're exercises I give to a lot of my clients, both athletes and non-athletes, dancers and non-dancers. And there are also a lot of exercises I see on social media, on Instagram, on YouTube, and in the gym. And I see so many people doing them completely wrong and it drives me crazy. So they're not only wasting their time, they're not benefiting from these exercises at all. So I hope by watching this short video today, it is gonna give you the knowledge you need to be able to do these exercises correctly so you can benefit from them every single time you do them. Now the first exercise I'm gonna start with today is one of my absolute favorite exercises. It's called the clam, clam is clams, whatever you want to call it. Now, the reason why clams is one of my absolute favorite exercises is because it strengthens the gluteus medius. Now, what a lot of people don't know is your ass, your butt, is made up of three different muscles. It's not just one giant muscle. It's your glute max, medius, and minimus. Now, the glute max is the muscle that a lot of people activate and use the most, and the minimus is the one on the side of your buttocks that a lot of people kind of forget or forget to strengthen. But for dancers specifically, this is your one of your major turnout muscles. So by doing clams on the daily and correctly like I'll show you today, you can dramatically improve your turnout. And for non-dancers out there, this exercise is going to dramatically help you because the gluteus medius is a pelvis stabilizer and it also helps your pelvic floor. For women, I think this is one of the absolute Honestly, one of the best exercises you can be doing on the daily. Okay guys, so to do clams correct, we're gonna lie on our side. Now the biggest thing about clams is to not move your hips. Your hips are like headlights on a car facing forward. Now your heels are uh, directly under your buttocks. They're not in front of you, they're not behind you, they're directly under and your knees are at a nice 45 degree angle. Now all you're doing is moving your knee up and down. You are not moving your hips. So all we're activating in this exercise is your gluteus medius, which I said before is on the side of your buttocks. Think of activating your gluteus medius already before you start moving the knee. Hips not moving and your knee is coming up and down. Now for the first few repetitions of this, you're not going to feel much, but trust me, after 50 seconds or a minute or even less, you're definitely going to feel the burn in your glute medius. Now I really love to put a timer onto my phone. I usually do about 50 seconds with a 10 second break in between and three sets. Now the clams, although it's a very small exercise, you will be able to definitely feel the burn after about 50 seconds or a minute, but if you really want to intensify the workout, you can use a resistance band. Resistance bands can be bought from any good sporting goods store or even from Amazon. You can buy them in packets of five. You need to make sure that they are right above the knees, not around the knees. That's something I see a lot of people doing, which is incorrect. You can injure yourself. Make sure it's right above the knees. Same thing. Heels underneath your bum. Knees at a nice 45 degree angle. Again, not moving the hips, guys. Hips are staying straight and you're just moving the knee up and down. Oh, it's even burning already! Okay guys, now onto the other side. Now by this point, your one glute medius should be quite on fire. Mine definitely is. So what I like to do on the second side is, I put a bit of my weight, upper body weight, into my hand. So you're just working your glute medius on one side. Thank you so much guys for joining me on my Train Like a Ballerina workout today. I know it's not as exciting as a full on workout, but knowing exactly how to do these exercises and knowing how to do them correctly can completely change the way you work out. If you like this video, please leave a little thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have so many more videos yet to come. I have an ebook on flexibility coming out in a few weeks. Train Like a Ballerina's ultimate guide to flexibility. And I also have my full online studio to be released in the new year. Go to www.trainlikeaballerina.com. Thank you so much guys for joining me on Train Like Ballerina today. See you at the next workout.